Create a new project and select double sided with schematic. In the opening schematic page, click the icon Import Component. Immediately the component browser opens. Search for Diode 1N4148 and get the results shown in green. You see the schematic symbol, the pattern of the soldering pads and the 3D image of the component. Now you can directly import the symbol to the schematic. Now look at section Components in the sidebar. A click upon the connector symbol opens the component browser showing this particular component family. Select a dual pole pin header and place it twice. Rotate the symbol by right mouse click before placement. By default, a single click on any drawing element of a component highlights it completely. Right mouse click on a free space opens a context menu. Untick the option, always select entire component. Now for example, highlight only the component value in order to delete it. Retrieve it pressing quotation mark, which is keyboard key shift together with 2 at cursor position. By this means you will reach the text mode in order to reactivate the text function component value. Now the text will be placed again at cursor position. At pin header J1 you do the same. In the text dialog any settings can be done. Using the sidebar, now we want to insert a resistor. Clicking the icon, the parametric search opens. In this case, it is better to search for parameters rather than names. The value of the resistance is 4.7 kilo ohms, so we enter 4K7. We long for a SMD package, for example a 0805 chip package. Functional key F8 switches the crosshairs on. Pressing it multiple times toggles between the modes. It helps arranging the parts in order to wire them easier. Switch back the way of touching a component so that you highlight the package completely while hitting only a part of it. Now arrange the parts touching them anywhere and use this spot for orientation. Each symbol of the sidebar can be preset by a certain component. By drag and drop this particular part can be placed into the schematic. Selecting the bending mode from the sidebar at the same time activates the mode of wiring a signal and easily the pins can be wired. Snap-on boxes help hitting the connection properly. Their size depends on the grid, which can be set under the Adjust View icon. If you use the schematic router, you might save a few clicks. Bending modes can be toggled during the placement of wires using the spacebar. Now we drag a ground symbol from the sidebar into the schematic and connect it towards the wiring so that the name GND automatically is given. Sure other namings or various ground potentials are allowed within the same project. Now we are done with our little schematic.